You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 8th of August. Indian Parliament debates no confidence motion against PM Modi's government. Bangladesh to tone down law critics accused of crushing dissent. And one killed, six missing in flooding and landslide in Nepal. And now for all the details, the lower house of the Indian Parliament, the Lok Sabha on Tuesday took up the debate on the no confidence motion moved by the opposition INDIA alliance against Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government over the Manipur violence. There were heated exchanges as the ruling BJP lawmakers wondered why Rahul Gandhi's name as lead speaker was withdrawn. Instead, Congress leader Gaurav Gugoi initiated the debate and questioned the silence of PM Modi over the violence in Manipur. He said PM Modi should accept that his double-engine government has failed in Manipur. सवाल दूसरा कि लगभग 80 दिन क्यों लगे प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी को मणिपुर पे कुछ बोलने के लिए और जब बोले तो सिर्फ 30 सेकंड के लिए बोले Meanwhile, BJP MP Nishikant Dube, who led his party's debate on the motion, took a jibe at Congress leaders. The debate is expected to continue on Wednesday with PM Modi likely to give a reply on Thursday before a vote on the motion. Sonia ji, mujhe jo lagta hai ki unke party ki unki do manasthiti hai. Wo ek Hindu sabbeta sanskriti mein believe kar rahi hai. Isi liye alokika pandita ki tarah jo पूरा किताब में लिखा हुआ है कि क्या-क्या करना चाहिए एक भारतीय नारी को उसका पूरा का पूरा पिक्चर सोनिया जी देती है उनको दो काम करना है बेटे को सेट करना है और दामाद को भेंट करना है and Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan's lawyer on Monday said that he has no facilities in prison and the cell selected by the government does not have the conditions that political prisoners are entitled to. Imran Khan, the chief of PTI party who has been at the heart of political turmoil since his ouster was declared guilty in Toshikhana case this past weekend and has been transferred to the Atak jail for three years. The lawyer said the basic rights that even an ordinary prisoner under the prison rules can access Khan is being deprived of. Shah Mahmood Qureshi, who is leading the Khan's PTI party while he's in jail, said a petition will be filed to challenge the conditions. सबका वजीर आजम है कानून के मुताबिक एक क्लास उनका हक है ना कूलर पंखा है खाली सिर्फ पंखा है और वहां पर पोजीशन ये है कि जो वॉशरूम है वो ओपन है और वॉशरूम का शावर भी खराब है दिन को उन्होंने कहा कि बहुत ज्यादा मक्खियां होती हैं यहां पर और रात को कीड़े होते हैं रात को बारिश हुई है और पानी उस बैरक के अंदर आ गया छोटा सा कमरा है नमाज पढ़ने में भी उन्हें तकलीफ Meanwhile, U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the arrest of Imran Khan is Pakistan's internal matter and Khan blaming the U.S. for his ouster last year certainly has not helped matters for him. Khan has denied any wrongdoing and maintained the government and the powerful military have imposed fabricated charges on him. And moving on, victims of rain-triggered landslides in POK have lamented they have received no aid or assurances of rehabilitation from the government so far, which has left them at their own mercy. A report. More than a dozen houses have been severely damaged due to rain-triggered landslides in recent days in Muzaffarabad in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. But locals have lamented the authorities have continued to completely ignore their plight, leaving them at their own mercy. Victims said, apart from some NGOs, they have received no relief from the government so far and have no hope of rehabilitation. They're forced to live under damaged remains of their homes.
अच्छा ये बताएंगे पहले भी लैंड स्लाइड थी इस इलाके में या नहीं 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 पहले भी थी लैंड स्लाइडिंग इतनी नहीं थी तो एक हफ्ते से ये इंतजामिया को बता रहे हैं तो इंतजामिया ने इनके बारे में कुछ ख्याल नहीं किया था कोई बता नहीं आया Locals lamented though it has become an annual phenomena the corrupt authorities have made no learning and no efforts are done to mitigate the effects of natural calamities Well Taliban officials at the Academy of Science of Afghanistan have said that a plan for the reopening of schools for girls above 6th grade is under discussion by the Islamic Emirate. The director of the academy Rafiullah Niyazi said that the Taliban has also called on the academics who led the country to return. This comes as schools for female students beyond grade 6 have remained closed for more than 680 days. Since seizing power in 2021, the Taliban regime has also barred women from visiting public places such as parks, gyms and beauty salons and restricted them from working for international aid agencies. Moving on, Bangladesh will tone down its Digital Security Act, criticized by many as a draconian curb on dissent, to allow bail for suspects and halt the jailing of journalists for defamation, Law Minister Aniswal Haq said on Monday. Journalists and rights activists have long demanded the repeal of the act to protect press freedom. Haq had told Parliament in June that there had been 7,001 cases filed under the act across the country since its enactment in October 2018 until January this year. It combines the colonial era Official Secrets Act with tough provisions such as allowing peer police to make arrests without warrants. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has maintained tight control since coming to power in 2009 and has been accused by opposition groups cracking down on free speech, suppressing dissent and jailing critics. Her government has denied the charges. Western governments and rights groups have also criticized the government for cracking down on anti-government protest. And landslides caused by heavy rain in Nepal this week have killed at least one person and six people were missing, officials said on Tuesday. The rains which lashed the Himalayan nation from June to September kills scores of people every year and many more go missing as the monsoon triggers landslides and floods. This year 38 people have died and at least 33 people are missing. Mana Acharya an official at the home ministry said the rainfall has also caused the Bagmati river in the Kathmandu valley to breach its banks flooding areas of the region that is home to about 4 million people. Authorities have also asked residents near the eastern Sindhuli River to evacuate as the water rises. And the ninth edition of the Malabar River Festival in Southern India witnessed the participation by scores of locals and international kayaking enthusiasts. Take a look. Scores of locals and foreign nationals took part in a fierce kayaking competition as part of the much-awaited Malabar River Festival in India's Kerala state this past weekend. The annual festival is one of the largest international whitewater kayaking events in India. The participants battled the river while showing their rowing maneuvers during the two-day event. Malabar River Festival. Every year I come here and uh, I learn like so much from this competition because this competition has a pl platform that uh, you know so many foreigners are coming from abroad. You know they share uh, their experience with us and then. and by that uh, we also like um, yeah, learn so many things you know uh, how to compete how to paddle you know in a correct angle the participants swiftly meandered between rocks and other hurdles amid cheering spectators the competition was held in various categories including slalom boat across down river and super final extreme race So today uh, we competed in the pro women's heats and it started with extreme slalom and then to qualify for the boat across you had to come in the top 9 and then we did our boat across after that and that will qualify us for final. Well that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night.